Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha Kodash, to all honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, meaning peace unto the elect. All right, I'm going to go into a quick, not quick, just a recount of a dream I'd had last night, this morning, early in the morning, and I'd started trying to record it. I woke up, I was like, I need to just get this down. I know the recording, it's just me mumbling. And then on the recording, I know, I just fall back to sleep. But anyway, what I remember is the first first bit was climbing a sort of mountain. Not mountain, just like a hillside in the woods or whatever. And it's sort of cut out of, there's like little holes that you could put your foot. But it looked like it was man-made. I was climbing up there, climbing up there. And once I got in there, I got to my house and that I was familiar with. And it was... Uh, all I remember is getting up the hill. I knew that my house was on the top. And the next bit, it was all hell broke loose, man. It was in my house. And then, it just sort of snapped. And all the walls, not all the walls, but the, the three main walls, other than you know the entrance of it, all the walls were disappeared. And broken down walls. Like a man that can't rule his spirit. <laughs> so maybe that's what that means. But there was all sorts of, and it was sort of, not caged, but reinforced. It was like a reinforced, sort of like a castle wall. But it was like you could, if you wanted to, you could get in at the sides. But no one seemed to want to do that. It was like a, a damn riot mob, man. You know, bring that Israelite out here, man. And all, all manner of you know, nations, Jake, Jake getting on Jake, mainly it was like Jake leading it. You know, there was even a lot of Northern Kingdom meaning so-called Hispanics natives. You didn't, I don't tend to commonly see in the UK. Well, I remember thinking, Jeremiah 13, 7, this is the time, this is the time of trouble. Yeah, this has been prophesied. And I've taught it, and now here we are, man. I'm just feeling like, shit, man. I hope I've done enough. I hope I've done enough that the Lord may be on my side. You could look outside and there's fire, and it didn't st- they didn't start by going, look look at that Israelite, you know, it was just a tumult. They're just like a mob. And they were sort of, it's like how you see it, classic, uh, a classic mob, you know, a fire torch leading it. And it looks sort of middle-aged, but updated, if you know what I mean. That's a big, big mob. Not people on horseback, but instead of horseback, it was just bikes and stuff like that. And Jake was just wilding out, you know, he was getting on Jake. But then they all started to just turn and go, bring that, bring that Israelite out here, man. Bring it out. But I just knew. And <laughs> like I said, there was no sides on the house. But I knew, say, they can't get in, man. They cannot get in. After that initial fear of I hope I've done enough, and as I started, as they started approaching, I was just like, they can't get in. They can't get in. And I remember calling upon the name of the Lord, the Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And it was... It was like, it's, it's, uh, if you imagine a film, it just cut scene. And I'd somehow I'd got out of that house, or it wasn't really a house at that point, you know, out of that ruin of, of my house. And I was just walking, man, walking through the woods. Not walking, but walking at pace. And I had a bag of just like, I didn't have a gun or any provisions like that. I just sort of had a bag. There's nothing in it that I can remember. I just remember just having just having the bag I just remember having the bag I was thinking well nothing in this bag is going to get me and like it says Isaiah 33 and 6 wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation so I wasn't too concerned I was I was very concerned in the initial you know, opening but after that point I was like well it's in the hand of the Lord now I just sort of let go of any anxiety or fear I'd rather cast it upon the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai I knew if I'm going to get delivered, I'll get delivered. Yeah, if, if, if I'm getting fucked up, that's, that's the perfect will of the Lord nonetheless. And it was, it was very, it felt very real. And I wish, well, you know, I wish I could recount it all like, more, more together. But I just know that I was, I was climbing up the hill. You now I had to get to some place. That's what I knew. A place of safety. So I thought. And when I got to that place of safety, then the carnal sort of safety that we trust in, not, not that we trust in, 
But the, the people tend to trust in, we as a nation trust in, and we, we're not supposed to trust in it. But it's something, you know, you think you're safe in your house. Well, the Lord showed me, <laughs> you're not, wherever you think your safe place is in this world, you know, it's not our rest, man. Especially in Babylon. Now, I'm, I'm in the UK, now I'm in England, but I took that as you know, the, the whole of this, this seclorum. However we think, oh, yeah, that'll be all right. You know, it'll never touch me, yet it will, man. And we're going to have to make a move. And it starts with a spiritual move. You know, we will get redeemed. We will get moved to where we need to be. It's not, we don't need to flee anywhere. You know, the Lord can get you anywhere. If you're going to get judged, you're going to get judged. There's nothing you can do about it to change it. And that was my mindset. I just remember calling upon the Lord for deliverance. And I didn't get touched in the dream. But I wasn't, I wasn't very aware of whether I'd got saved or not. But I knew I'd kept the faith at that point. So, you know, you can, you can hope. We can, that's all we have, prisoners of hope, as it says. So anyway, Jeremiah 13, 7. It says, 13, 7, and so lucky, 30 and 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. And like I said, I knew this was it, man. And I, I was fearful, man. In that dream, I was fearful. I was like, fuck, man, I hope I've done enough. I hope I've done enough. And you can take that how you want. You can take it to be like, oh, well, what if what I never do is enough? That'll be a stumbling block unto you. Or you can take it as, let me make my calling and election sure, as it says, I'm sure that is 2 Peter 2, verse 1 and 10. You know, to make your calling and election sure. So are you making the videos? Are you going on the highways? Are you being fair to brothers? Are you exhorting brothers? Are you helping brothers out where you can? Are you able to you know, do everything you can? Do everything you can. Are you spending enough time in this word? Are you getting distracted? Are you being a hypocrite? Are you executing judgment fairly? Now all of these things were going through my head and then it was well. You, know, you just have to call upon the Lord and hope that you're one of the one of the number in it. You're of that number. Right? And all all faces turn into paleness. You saw every everyone that was out in the street was ready, man. Was ready for war. And I was realizing oh, no police are gonna come. No, no police are going to save me. And I remember it just cut like a movie. And now I'm just walking through the woods. Sort of vibes from, um, what's that thing called, man? Book of Eli. That's what it felt like. But you know, I didn't have the book. And from what I recall in the bag, I didn't have anything. I just thought, well, what I've learned so far, you know, the wisdom and knowledge, let that be the stability of my times and the strength of my salvation. I, and I was recalling scriptures at that point. And at first I was all fearful, getting carnal, getting caught up in the moment. And then I just thought, well, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is in control, man. You know, call upon the names Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And like I said, I don't know whether I was delivered or not, but the fact that in the dream, I was able to keep that faith, that gave me comfort. And that gave me comfort in a very uncomforting time. All right, Jeremiah 13, 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Is even the time of Yaakob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And I took the hill, so the cutout hill, you know, it's a trial. But it's, it's all laid out for us, man. It's, it's, it, it, it was a tough hill to climb. But it was all laid out for us. And when we got to the, cho the top, it went just as you think, oh, I found solace, I found safety. Nope, that got ripped away from you. Nothing in this world can we fucking trust in, man. That goes for family members, as much as you may love them. You know, that goes for your, your possessions, as much as you, you may need to drink water, you know, food. Ultimately, that's not going to save you. If the Lord wants to redeem you and, and have you you know, in a famine, you may get fed. In a famine, he may put it on you that you don't even need food or, or water for that time. You know, he may sustain you. He may give you manna from heaven. We don't know what it is. But we, what we do know is the Lord will provide for his elect. And we pray to be of that number. That day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know, Daniel 12 and 2, it mirrors the same thing. Same thing. You know, that it's a time of trouble such as there never was and there never will be. <laughs> so, so the walls just disappearing I was like oh shit I was like shit man but I'm glad at least in the dream you know, the Lord put it on my spirit to you know, fuck all that man fuck this world and just trust in him and that's, that's how I hope when it does go down I hope 
that we kept from it. Second Ezra's 16 and yes, yeah, 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? And the answer is if you're one of the elect, if you're a man of the Lord, a woman of the Lord, a child of the Lord, uh, you will be redeemed. You'll be you'll, you'll be kept back, all right? And who will deliver you in those days? Yahweh Shai. More specifically, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Because you believed on him uh, through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Rechak Wadash. Alright, and you have Second Ezra 15. And all of these, all of these scriptures, they're all going into this, you know, this great time of sedition, this great time of trouble. Wah. Wow. Second Ezra 15 and 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invaded one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. <laughs> and I was, I was able I was able to get into my house. Once I was in the house, it was like, well, what, what safety is there here? There's no walls in it. You know, there's no security. There's no security in this world, any earthly possession. The only thing you can trust in is the Lord, man. The only thing, the only being. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that was it. There's no police coming. And I clocked, I was like, there's... There's no way police are coming up here. Everyone's rowdy, man. It's like a, a big tumult of all people, man. Jake was, Jake was seeming to, you know, all, it was like all the hood Jakes. Not that I knew them personally, but I could, I could see in the countenance of them that like, these men were ready for action, man. Let's see. Second Ezra 15 and 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation and when when you're hungry when you're hung not hungry but when you're starving to the point where you've not eaten and that's all you're thinking about at that moment you're not thinking about family necessarily and you're not thinking about your children first you need to provide for yourself it's like when on an aircraft if you've ever been on an airplane or an aeroplane they say first up put your own mask on before assisting anyone else so you need to feed your own belly not in that sense you know how some groups will feed their own belly and not serve you Hawashai, Hamashach and some individuals but rather, you know, you're just thinking about yourself. You're in survival mode. You know, everyone was in survival mode out there, man. I was just thinking, shit. But after a while, I was like, hold on. If I've done enough, if I've not done enough, it's the will of the Lord. So just keep the faith. You know, endure until the end and you should be saved. I don't know if I was saved or not in the dream. <laughs> but it's a good sign to keep the faith. And like, we don't know if we're one of the elect or not. But it's a good sign if you keep the faith. All right, so I'll leave it there. I'll leave it on um, in Matthew 24. I'll get just real quick. I think it's this. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So I, I can make an assumption. That if, if that was the correct thing to do, you know, trusting in the Lord, and if this is the truth, and vocab, you better pray to white fucking Jesus. Do it wrong about what we teach. If this is the right thing, and we can make the assumption that in June until the end, the same shall be saved. You know, his elect will be saved. I'll get one more. I know I said that'll be the last one. You know, wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, and there shall no torment touch them. And I wasn't touched, at least from what I can recall, or from what I saw of it, what I saw of it and can recall. All right, so I pray that that is exhorting and edifying in terms of the dream. Uh, uh, exhorting to continue in it there's prophecies about dreaming dreams and I pray it was edifying in terms of the scriptures you know, maybe someone could do a response video I'm not sure but uh, I hope that can be of use to you man and just keep enduring because it is, it's going to get sticky and that felt fucking real bro that felt real as hell now I woke up sweating up I woke up like oh man I wasn't even sure if I like I, I was very um disoriented waking up and that means out of the east I was very not eastern waking up disorient out of the oriental but that, that was crazy man yeah, there's gonna, it's going to be a crazy time you have to trust in the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai not take the haragma you know, not conform to this world to the image of the beast but keep doing what you're doing if you're doing the right thing that is right and we can all do better so I hope that was exhorting until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai, Barak, Thumb.